Hey folks, what's going on? This is Tiffany from Range Master and I am joined with two of my favorite people. Yes, yes, favorites again. I know y'all are sick of hearing me say favorite people, but favorite people for sure. John Houtman and Sarah Houtman are absolute wonders. They are gems in the industry. And I personally am super glad that they are part of the training and concealment and 2A community. If you're not familiar with John and Sarah, I will let them introduce themselves. John, tell us who you are and then pass the mic and we'll hear all about your better half. So I'm John. Uh, Sarah and I run uh, Filster Holsters where we make a number of concealment products and um, our, one of our core missions here is concealment education. So we uh, try to take a lot of the, the, the guesswork out of concealed carry. You know, traditionally that is a lot of, you know, trial and error, just keep buying stuff until you luck into what's right. And we've, over the years, taken everything we've learned and re reduced it down into principles and fundamentals the same way that we have fundamentals of pistol shooting there are fundamentals of concealment and what we aim to do more than anything is uh, deliver that information awesome sarah i don't know who at this point doesn't know who you are but just in case those folks exist tell us who you are please ma'am hi i'm sarah i'm the uh what, what was i calling myself the first <laughs> of filster <laughs> with my official unofficial title um but uh i've been i've been around in the gun community for about a decade and i uh, uh married john and <laughs> started working for filster in 2019 uh we invented the enigma together and have been uh enjoying a crazy life ever since <laughs> man did the enigma explode Whee! Yeah, so everyone. let's talk. I'm sure we'll 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 learn a lot more about the Enigma, um, if not on this call, definitely in your class at TACCON, which is called Concealment and Comfort Techniques for All Body Types. And all is in all caps, which I love. So tell us, and I don't know, you guys can arm wrestle for the mic this time. Tell us what that class is all about. So we ran last year, we ran a class called Concealment Tune-Up. Um, which, which I would say was pretty successful. We went over the principles of why and how guns conceal on the body. Uh, and in the year since then, we've been kind of looking at our material again and thinking about it. And in the gun community, we end up in a situation where everybody feels like an island. And time and time again, people will come into our group or they'll come into my inbox and they'll say, well, I'm having trouble because I'm shaped like this. And I have to say, well, you're, you're not, you're, you're having trouble because you're not using this principle, but people kind of feel so alone with it. And maybe you don't know anyone that's shaped with you, shaped the way that you are. Uh, and it's hard to know what exactly to do to get your gun to conceal. So this year we changed up our class a little bit. We're gonna make it a little more hands-on and we're going to kind of help people get familiar with looking at the concealment principles, not just as like theory uh, and not just diagrams, but on real bodies. So you can actually see them in action. Yeah. So one of the reason that one of the reasons that everyone feels like all of their concealed carry problems are unique is that every other aspect of this, of what we're engaged in, has an element that is fun and social. You go to the range and you meet people and you socialize and you have a good time shooting. You go to classes and it's the same way, right? And all of these things are uh, elements of our community that keep people involved and keep them propelled forward. But when it comes to carrying a gun, you are doing that by yourself. And it's frustrating. Um, so that's a big exit ramp for a lot of people. I think, I think we have a lot of gun havers a lot of people um, have probably given up on concealed carry. Those are exit ramps for a lot of folks. But the more people that we can divert from those exit ramps are the more people who wind up taking more classes and being sustaining members of this community. So one of the things we want to do is close off those exit ramps and keep them on the highway with success and alleviating that frustration and also taking a lot of the expense out of it. Because once you've bought four holsters that don't work for you because you don't know 
how to describe what works or where to go next with your next purchase. Once you've bought four or five holsters, that's money that you could have spent on a class. That's money that you could have spent on training. That's money that you could have spent on ammunition to get better at shooting. Instead, you've squandered the finite budget on gear choices that don't actually get you further down the path. Yeah, we've all been there. So what you're saying is you don't have to have a drawer full of holsters. I thought that was like a mandatory rite of passage. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it was like, oh yeah, just keep like just keep buying new guns until you find one that you can hit the target with. <laughs> right. That's not that's not how we learned to shoot. We learned to shoot by I mean, shooting is such a solved science to the point where if I just showed you someone's target. You could say, oh, yeah, they've got a flinch or their support hand grip isn't very good or their recoil control isn't very good. Like if you showed me somebody's target and the time that they shot it in and the distance, you can diagnose how they shoot based on that. Um, we don't just tell people keep buying guns until you're accurate. <laughs> you know, we we know that in order to shoot well, the following things must occur. And if someone is shooting well, they have, whether they've realized it or not, accomplished some number of prerequisites. And we could do the same thing for comfortable concealed carry. Yep, and that's where our concealment mechanics come in. So those are the fundamental principles, like the why behind what makes a gun conceal. Right. Uh, and the theory of that is really important. Um, and we, we are gonna talk about that as well, but we're gonna do a lot more talking about it while we, we actually demonstrate it. So. Uh, if you're in this class and if you're comfortable, uh, nobody's required to do this, but we're going to be trying stuff on and trying it on other people and we'll have opportunities to say, okay, put this on and everybody say, what do you think could be done to make this conceal better? So that's going to be super helpful for, for each person, you know, just as an individual, but also for those of you who are instructors. So that's going to be super helpful because, um, it's pretty, you know, most of us, if we've been in it for some years, we've got it figured out for ourselves, but it's a lot harder to know what it's like in someone else's body and what their experience is like and how they are gonna be able to conceal. So this is gonna help people to, to kind of look beyond their personal success and find what's gonna work for a wide variety of people. Yeah, and one of the other things that we wanna um, deliver to people is that even if you, have a lot of successful experience with concealed carry and you know how to make it work for yourself, what we want to do is we want to deliver um, a vocabulary that makes this transferable, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to give you the words and the framework that will make, you know, someone who's got 15 or 20 or 25 years of experience in some cases might have this huge pool of, of water. And if you don't have the right words for it, you're trying to get people to drink water with your hands. But what we really want to do is give people a bucket so they can take big doses of that and hand it to other people. And the way we do that is by, you know, um, developing a clear, concise language that isn't, you know, cluttered or complicated for describing these, these things. That sounds wonderful. I, I cannot recommend this class enough. Um, Sarah and John are correct that last year's class was super successful. One of the most highly rated classes after our after the conference was over through the evaluations. Very, very popular. And I'm really, really glad to hear that you guys are developing it out even more. So if you are looking to really start the day out with a bang on Saturday morning at eight, or Sunday morning at eight in classroom three, check out John and Sarah for concealment and comfort techniques for all body types. And I just, I have to give a shout out to these folks because you've played a huge role in my own EDC journey. And uh, a lot of it was sort of validation for me because John, you hit the nail on the head. I, I spent years feeling like I was the only one in the world who had my particular concealment issues. And when I discovered your educational materials, which are super generous, by the way, um, I, I just, it was like, you know, the clouds parted and celestial choirs sang and, you know, sunshine beams and all that. So if you're not familiar with the Filster website and the Filster YouTube channel, please, please check those out even before TACCON. 
because Sarah and John could absolutely be selling this material and making even more money than the Enigmas bringing in just from the education alone. But they're not those types of folks. They're generous with their expertise and it's all out there available to you. And it's brand agnostic, even though they are a holster company. So, um, so check it out. And I second what Sarah said about instructors. Don't think that if you've got your own concealment game plan figured out that you don't need this class. I promise you, you need this class. Show up, sit down and get your learn on. <laughs> Folks, yeah, I am, I mean, oh, go ahead, John. I was, was going to say one of, one of the things that, that comes along with this is we've got a, a Facebook group called the Filster Concealment Workshop. And so, you know, over the years of, of, of making holsters, a couple people a week would come into the shop to have something custom made. So any time that I had an idea, sorry, dog, um, uh, <laughs> or, or a theory, it got tested on a, on a small number of people over a long period of time. But since we have like 25,000 people in one place at one time all the time, we have a, a really good laboratory for rapidly uh, uh, iterating and fine tuning the way we talk about these things and delivering the information. So it's not abstract. What we're able to do is we're able to take this information and see how it works in a very compressed time frame with a whole lot of people. So it's like a very fast evolution. Absolutely. I'm I'm in that group and I learn something there at least every week, if not every day. Um, I will give one more shout out. I'm sorry that this is a total filster commercial, but hey, that's what these videos are for, right? Um, I also want to encourage everybody to come and check out John and Sarah specifically because of that second part of the title of this class for all body types. I can assure you that they mean exactly that. Um, so if you think you've got the weird body that nobody else has, trust me, John and Sarah have the formula for you. And like John said, it's transferable, it's gear agnostic, and there's just so much to be learned. They have demystified the, the, the conundrum of carrying concealed. And for that, I thank you both. They are wonderful, wonderful contributors to the training community, and they are my friends. I can't wait to see you both in Dallas. And not that you need it, but you get bonus points for having puppies in the video. That's always a plus. <laughs> We're really glad that we... Uh... Yeah, we're, got invited back we're like honored. last year was really unbelievable honored. and and to get an invite back is just like wow beyond <laughs> so you know now we we really have to step it up every every year if we're going to keep getting invited back <laughs> right. oh well trust me you you can't get rid of us that easily i suspect you'll be invited <laughs> back for many years to come i will see you guys in march thank you so oh, much can't wait to see you today. thank you